hey, I wanted to build a commuter bike that was like cooler than my Canopulator, the dad bike I ride. So I bought this 95 Kona Explosive from a friend, Joel. And when I bought it from him, it was pretty much still bone stock. It was old, but bone stock. Here's a picture of the catalog page from 1995. For once, I was smart enough to take some before footage. And here is what it looked like when I bought it. I want to talk to you a little bit about what I did to build it this way, what I used, and why I chose that. So when I got it, the forks, the Marzucci XCR, I think they were, the, the suspension forks from 95, they were shot, and I mean shot. So I don't, I don't really have any knowledge about suspension forks and rebuilding them. So I didn't have it rebuilt or send it out or anything like that. Instead, I used this uh, Soma fork that has suspension correction built into it. I never had to deal with that before. So fortunately, the nice guy over at Toasty Rides, you know, um, I had asked him on the Instagram. That's the typing. I asked him if if that was correct. He had a bike with the, the with the P2 fork, which I, I couldn't find. And these forks, are inch and an eighth threadless. So I was able to convert everything and use modern bars and stems and all that malarkey. I used a no-name stem that I got out of the parts bin at the bike shop, the used stuff. I traded them some silver one that I had because the black, you know. And another Instagram thank you as a fella, I think he's called Banta Bikes somewhere in California. I had asked him what bars he was using on a bike, some bike he had built and they were Velo Orange Clunker Bars, which I've used here. I was looking at the Surly Sunrise. I went with the clunkers, because they've got that nice back sweep that I really, I really enjoy. Because, hey, if I'm riding a bike, I want to be comfortable. Uh, I paired that with the uh, Wald 137, because a bike that can't carry anything is pretty worthless to me. Of course, black to kind of match the fork. Well, the wheels are kind of important, the wheels, because I built them myself and that's the first set of wheels that I ever built and I built them myself because I wanted something specific or kind of specific and I wanted to build a set of wheels because I had never done it. I used Alex Adventurer 2 wheels or hoops. I used a Dior trekking hub in the rear to fit a 10 speed cassette and in the front I used a Shimano Dynamo hub. 6 volts, 3 watts, 2 power, a dyno light. I'm interested in the idea of using the power or the motion of the bicycle to power the lights. It just makes sense. You're already going to make the bike move. Why not get more out of it than just getting somewhere? The light is easily the most expensive part on this bicycle. It is, I don't remember, it's a Supernova E3, E3 something or other. I don't know, it works pretty well. The beam is a little weird because I'm used to something mounted up on the bars and kind of just splaying out wherever it wants to so I can kind of see out of my peripheral vision. This is more of a focused kind of a thing and my feet are going to sleep, hold on. The cranks are a Shimano Dior uh, just Dior. It's it's not part of a group set. It's it's just a, a single one by crank, two piece. And if I had to do it again, I would have put a little more thought into that because it came with something tiny for mountain biking. I wanted something with a little more. I wanted 36 teeth. The only 36 tooth chain wheel I could find for this was this wolf tooth, which is ungodly expensive for a chain ring in my opinion, but it has proven to be the, a superior product, really, i got to be honest. And the, the weird thing about this is that the, the bolt pattern is that weird Shimano asymmetrical thing, so, uh, there, you know, there might be other chain rings available, that's what was available to me, so I used it. I used a non-clutch derailleur in the rear because I don't, did, didn't think I needed the clutch standard whatever Dior 10-speed shifter 
the brake pads, the cantilever brakes, and the levers, those are all original to the bike. The seat post is original to the bike. The cantilever brakes, they work, they stop. Are they toasty rides like skids on concrete stop? No, because one, I didn't take the time to set them up that well. Two, I have the wrong links in there. It really needs to be something different. I used these Continental Traffics that came off of my uh, GT Tequesta that never kind of fit in there quite right. They always rubbed on the on the U-brake in the rear. I put them on there because I thought the black worked well and they look fairly aggressive from the side even though they're really more of a street tire. For the seat I used the, uh, the rivet leather saddle I got from that nice man I see at the steam engine show now and again. And your name escapes me. I know you pop into the comments every now and again. I'm sorry, I forgot. It's been a minute. It has proven to be a fun bike. I enjoy riding it. I like the, the headlight. I like the upright position and the and the back sweep of the of the bars. I had sat on making a video about this for a while because I wanted to make an awesome video for an awesome bike, but I don't think I do that. I, I do this better than I do anything else, so I might as well keep it real, man. The basket, I think I already said that it's a walled 137 and it fits my what I need to carry pretty well. If I need to carry more, I ride the canopulator. It fits a lock, a lunchbox, and uh, a rain poncho, no problem. You can fit a bottle of water, you can fit all your bits in there. Uh, orange race face pedals because I wanted to go with the uh, the orange and the logo on the head tube that you can't see because I put the light and the basket there. Potential upgrades include swapping the tires out for the uh, Tanwall Gravel Kings on my Rock Hopper and maybe putting the original XT derailleur back on this and converting over to an old friction thumb shifter because I'm not sure I really care for this setup entirely. It's a cool bike. It's fun to ride. You can strap crap into the basket real nice. I bought that uh, the red Uzi what's it from Rivendell I think along with the bell the mini Suzu uh, crane bell because crane bells sound good and other bells don't. I think that's the best I can think of right now. I gotta go home before it rains. I'm Josh Gone. This is Erie Bicycle. Thanks for coming by. Please come back again. I thought about putting fenders on it, but the fitament would have been really goofy. So I didn't bother. Thanks always to John, uh, Bike Shop Dan, by the way, and John Adams and everybody there for all their help. Their, all their help, all the parts I used on this bike came from there. Maybe I'll link them in the description. I don't have any affiliate links, but no, nah, I probably won't.